Hello and welcome to another day in paradise. Uh, today I want to speak with you a little bit about uh, this fracas that's happened between uh, Ken Gander and my thoughts on everything, the two African Repat YouTubers. But first I would like to ask you to please like, subscribe and share. And I'd also like you to click the bell notification if you can so you know when I post a new video. I'd also like to say thank you to the new subscribers to the channel um, and I'd also like to say sorry to them at the same time because this is the first video that I'm making and it's about something which is ridiculous in my point of view. Um, we are talking about um, a grown man essentially in Ken Gander acting like bloody teenager um, so I'm going to give you some specifics first so who is Ken Gander? Ken Gander is a African American YouTuber that recently moved to Uganda and he does videos on the diaspora but he's been doing videos for years now and he's got quite a cult following and um, there is another YouTuber by the name of um, my thoughts on everything that's the name of his YouTube channel and he is living in the Netherlands I think he's from Curacao he's in the Caribbean so um, but has essentially lived in the, the Netherlands for most of his life um, and essentially he's been giving out information about uh, moving to the continent and um, had to buy land in the continent and um, and had to work and he's been basically giving people uh, advice on uh, on repatriation to the continent and <clears throat> I believe he made a video only yesterday he made a video and that video was about um, you know what I, 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 I'm gonna find this one difficult because I can't I didn't even watch the video myself but, but essentially he gave out information about um, in regards to um, repat to repatriation to Africa and Ken Gander picked up on this. Uh, Ken Gander actually wrote in his comments section some nasty words about my thoughts on everything, which I think was quite foolish because you don't know each other. You know, he doesn't know him. And started to try and take down his character. Which again shows me how much unity we have with each other. Sometimes it's so disappointing to see other repats, uh, other repats act this way because that's what King Gander is, is a repat. And you know, it's nice to see an African American buck the trend and he, and he's gone to live in a country where not many people are going to live in. He's gone to live in Uganda which is a beautiful part of the country, Central Africa. It's uh, oh, makes my uh, makes my hair stand on end when I think about Uganda. Um, so yeah, he's he's done that and he's gone to live there and um, <laughs> um, I'm sitting on my window ledge and I've got people watching me <laughs> um, so yeah he's done this which I've got to give him some props for I've got to give him a lot of respect for um, but in the same way He's, he ain't half a, 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 a disrespectful person. Where do you go about 
trying to bring down somebody else's character that you don't know simply because he doesn't speak English as a first language I mean straight away what does that tell you about him straight away that tells you something about that person's character when when all he does is try to tear down other people who doesn't think his way he, he goes around calling himself B1 this Ken Gander Ken Gander is uh, um, Josh Josh something I forgot his full name anyway but I'll call him Ken, Ken Gander because that's the name of his YouTube channel Josh O'Shea Johnson or something like that that's his name um, I, I made a video a few months ago about unity and this is exactly what I was talking about just people coming apart at the seams and I, I'm not trying to pick on any particular group but it's very Aunt Kathy-esque very B1-esque Ken Gander calls himself B1 but he's I don't think he's, he's that if I need to be honest with you he is a person that has jumped on the 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 the, the opportunity to make a channel knowing that there are many people of African ancestry who are going to be moving back he's, do, he's just done that he used to have a channel that used to he used to be anything but B1 if I need to be honest with you it was a nasty nasty channel if I need to be honest with you is, is it not a good person because Essentially, what he's, he was he used to do he used to tear down black women. He used to tear down, tear them down. Still does, sometimes. Um. Yeah, he's very Aunt Kathy esque. And I'd like to say something to the Continentals, who are watching. Uh, the so-called uh, Pan-African B1 um, mostly African Americans acting this way I just like to say that they are not they do not personify the African American culture A anything but actually they are quite the opposite um, you will see many of the African American repats that go back to Africa most of them are intelligent well-spoken warrior like and strangely enough most of them are women so that's the reason why they are uh, warrior that that's the reason why they are look Sydney I need the light she won't be able to see my black ass um, so yeah it's um, the good thing that's happening now is that you're getting the best of the African American uh, culture coming over to you now you're getting the, the engineers the scientists who have made it in America but don't need America they don't need corporate America they don't need America's money and they're coming back home and these are the people that you need to be following these are the people that you need to be judging the American uh, African American culture by your ESs ES black unicorn uh, black acres of Gambia these people these people are the personification of the african-american culture these people are incredible people incredibly strong incredibly brave you know these are the people that you need to be watching so that was a, a little uh, message to my uh, continental friends there and to the rest of the diaspora as well including the, the African-Americans uh, please you know 
we need to make sure that we are working with each other because we're stronger with each other and we need to s try to not not prey on our differences we need to be humble because it because there are many repat youtubers out there that have gone back to africa have been living there a few, few for a few months and they go around acting as if they are absolute professionals and proficient <laughs> um we need to be more humble and we need to be more focused on on our positions you know know thyself so anyway i didn't really go into detail with what ken gander said so essentially ken gander was doing everything in his power to tear down uh, my thoughts on everything my thoughts on everything is not an established channel like ken gander uh, my thoughts on everything have been has been around i mean i started following him about three weeks ago he had about 300 followers and now he has about one and a half thousand followers three weeks later he's doing extremely well he's, and people are watching him because he he seems genuine he seems genuine he hasn't been he hasn't told people that he's gone off to Africa and done this, that and the other. He's just told people the truth. He said, hey, listen, I've never been to the continent before. And the reason he, you know he's never been to the continent is because he's told you. Right? So, I could, you, could, you could tell that he's being genuine from the get-go. Because if he was really trying to scam people, he would be telling people, yes, yes, my name is so-and-so. I lived in Ghana. I lived in Nigeria. I lived in you know uh, Kenya and I've traveled the world and he didn't say all these things he's been open and honest from from the get-go I have not been there I have bought land this is how I did it it's up to you if you want to listen to it it's up to you if you want to believe him but you don't go on his channel and start chastising him and start trying to to, to discredit him kind of person does that sort of thing well anyway what I liked about my thoughts on everything was his reaction I want to show you his reaction because uh, it's very important because it uh, typifies what we should be doing as African diasporans it typifies what, the way we should be reacting to especially to our own okay so I'm gonna play you a little clip of the reaction from um, my thoughts on everything. Here we go. I want to say it's uh, for us, uh, brothers and sisters from the diaspora, um, it's not the time to do ugly against each other. You know, um, we really need to watch what we are saying especially brothers and sisters from the diaspora. Uh, we cannot attack each other without, without a, a reason, without a legit reason. Like this person, um, by the way, that is um, O'Shea Duke Jackson, Jackson. That's his name. I don't follow him. I just saw him reacting today in the comment. That's his name, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Um, he reacted as O'Shea Duke Jackson and as Ken King Ganda. This is his name, I believe. Um, what happened? I will read the comment. Uh, first, he reacted as, um, as uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson, um, calling me, saying that I'm not saying the things accurate. And uh, when I asked him, okay, what is the thing that's not accurate, he didn't, he didn't mention it. He started to talk about other things, he, he just, he couldn't mention it. So, uh, still, brother, uh, I want to know what the thing is so I can um, correct it, correct it. Because my people that are there, they are living there. They are really living there. They, they are people that knows what they talk about. So, uh, and they are, they're living there some 20 years, 10 years. 
Um, and that's how legit do you want the information to be? If when someone asks you, okay, tell me what I said that is not right, you, you, he couldn't mention it. And um, I'm, um, I'm not an angry person. So um, I won't entertain this anymore because I have a mission and a vision and um, this channel, I'm really grateful for this channel. And there you go. What do you think about that? That is class. That is uh, diplomacy. That is somebody who is an adult. That is somebody who um, is willing to um, to to not wear his ego and live vicariously through his own you know through his own uh, words and then put down everybody else who does not believe in the way he thinks and in the way he does things. That was a beautiful reaction, and really. What's the point of the video that I'm making today? I think the, the point of this video is to tell people to be careful about who you follow. Not everybody, not every African repat YouTuber is, is a good one. Some of them are poor at what they do. Some of them are not building, enabling you to build a good mindset before coming to Africa. Some of them are, have this poisonous, toxic uh, mindset that's inside them that they are bringing back from the diaspora and they're bringing to Africa and it's causing disunity so um, all I have to say is just be careful about who you follow follow me though follow me I'm not toxic oh, I suppose I can be sometimes no um, <laughs> um, no really be careful about who you follow because some of them some, some, there are some big ass egos out there, really, and it's 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 terrible to watch sometimes. It really is, but unity, man, it's so important, and we need to really focus on making sure that we do everything in a unified manner. And if we don't get along, fine, that's okay. We're human. We're not always going to get along with everybody right we don't have to work with everybody we meet we don't you know O'Shea Jackson does not need to watch my thoughts on everything's YouTube channel he doesn't need to he doesn't need to at all he's got his own platform he's been wrong I've seen him I know he's been wrong this is one of the just just one of those occasions where Ken Gander has been wrong he needs to apologize and he needs to be the bigger man as well because at this moment right now Kanganda looks stupid he looks stupid he's made himself look stupid he's discredited himself I stopped following him because I used to follow him now I've stopped following him I'm not even gonna bother anymore I don't like fake people I don't like fake people but let's hope that we can move on from this. Um, I, and I can see already that um, my thoughts and everything has has moved on from it. And um, um, I think he's going to garner a lot more support, especially from the repat community here, from the from the repat community in Africa, from the continentals in Africa, and from the rest of the wider diaspora as well. You know, I'm not just standing up for him because he's European. Uh, like me but you know because we can learn something from his reaction and I think that's something which is really good good to see well anyway I'm gonna stop uh, <laughs> I'm gonna stop uh, muttering on like this I'm gonna ask you to please leave a comment in the comment section let me know how you feel about this and um, um, Please be respectful to one another. That's all we've got. 
That's all we got. Cause when we go back to Africa, that's what we need. We need respect. If we can respect one another, we can rule this whole goddamn world. I'll tell you that. We have everything to rule this world. Okay, thank you very much for listening. And I hope to hear from you soon. You'll have a good one. Tarot it.